Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play five killer Steve Gadd drum grooves. So the first groove is from the song Lenore by Chick Corea. Check it out, it sounds like this. So it's this really cool kind of displaced snare backbeat halftime groove. One, a two, and a three, e, and a four, e. One, a two, and a three, e, and a four, e. So we're gonna teach it in two parts. The first part of the groove is like this. One, a two, e. One, a two, e. Right, right, left, right, left. And then here's the cool syncopated part. It's right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. And on the first right hand each time we're playing a kick drum. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Okay, and then we're gonna finish out the measure with one extra hi-hat at the end. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. So here's the groove played nice and slow. And then here's the full tempo again. All right, so that's drum groove number one. The second groove is from the song Night Sprite by Chick Corea. This is a really cool, like high energy groove using the ride cymbal bell playing on the off beats. Check this one out. I love to play this groove. Really cool, right? So here's the pattern. The right hand is playing offbeat accents on the ride cymbal bell. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and the snare drum is playing one E and two a uh, three E and four a uh, one E and two a uh, three E and four a. Uh. The hi hat foot is playing quarter notes and the kick drum is going one a uh, two three. Oh my, I love that one. Okay, groove number three is from the song The Sea Lion by Grover Washington Jr. And this features a really cool hi-hat foot pattern uh, that's really similar to Steve Gadd's most famous groove, which is from 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. So this sounds kind of like that, but it's not exactly the same groove. So check this out, groove number three. So you can see that opening part of every measure has the really cool syncopation. The pattern is like this. It's foot, so hi-hat foot, and then right, left. That's the part that if you've never played it before, just go really slow. It does feel very challenging the first time you try it, but just give yourself some time, play it really slow.
So we're going to add to that a kick drum at the very beginning, and then like you saw that I just played, we end with a little stutter, little stutter kick drum. Doon scat, scat, doon doon, right? And then we're going to finish out the measure with just eighth notes and a floor tom accent on beat four. So the whole groove really slowly goes like this. The key to achieving the proper hi-hat tone for this groove is to play the hi-hat with the shoulder of your stick here, hitting right on top of the hi-hat cymbals. Don't play with the tip and don't play the edge of the hi-hat. You wanna play right on top of the cymbals using the shoulder of the stick. All right, so here's that groove again at full tempo. Okay, the fourth groove is actually from 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, but it's not the main groove. This is actually the chorus groove, and I think it sounds just as cool and is definitely worth learning, so check this out. Groove number four. All right, really cool. So you're playing quarter notes on the bass drum for both measures until the end of the second measure, you're gonna play two eighth notes. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. The hi-hat is playing offbeat accents and that offbeat is the start of a triple stroke. So it's one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. Those offbeat accents make the groove feel peppy and upbeat. Okay, so just the kick drum and the hi-hat sounds like this. Okay, the snare drum is playing one E, two, a three E, four, a one E, two, a three E, four, a one E, two, a three E, four. Right, so putting all the parts together is going to sound like this. Oh man, I cannot play those two eighth notes on the kick drum going that slow. I totally messed that up. Here's kind of a medium tempo and then back at full speed. There it is, that's better. Okay, and then back at full tempo. All right, so now we're into the fifth and final groove. This is from the song French Roast by Lee Rittenauer. This is a really cool ride cymbal groove with the uh, back beat on two and four placed on the floor tom. You'll hear Steve Gadd plays this um, a lot of times in the song when the music is more open feeling and has more of that floating uh, sensation to it, just kind of opens up and gives the music some space. So check out this really cool groove.
really neat, right? It does not sound like your, your typical groove. It's, it's really, really cool. So the right hand is doing most of the work here. You're gonna be playing one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a your left hand is playing crash cymbal accents with the floor tom and then every other measure you're doing a snare accent on the e of three so right in between the right cymbal part so it's going to go one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three e and a four and a okay the kick drum and hi-hat foot part is like this the hi-hat's playing off beats one and two and three And then the kick drum is playing one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. So the feet go like this. So the whole groove nice and slow goes like this. And then back to full tempo. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick drum lesson covering five killer Steve Gag grooves. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss new videos. All right, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.